Hello guys, in this video we are going to study about aortic arch derivatives, a topic from anatomy. Right, and a lot of questions are asked from this topic. So first of all, we have to know that there are six aortic arches and among these six aortic arches, the fifth aortic arch regress and it doesn't lead to any of the following arteries. Right, so there are six aortic arches and we have to know the arterial structure which are derived from it. First of all, first aortic arch. From the first aortic arch, maxillary artery maxillary artery develops bilaterally right bl means bilaterally next second aortic arch from the second aortic arch we all know that s is second second may s and s for stapedial right s for stapedial right so what artery does originate from it stapedial artery stapedial artery and another one hyoid artery stapedial artery and hyoid artery how will you remember s for second and s for stapedial now third third means three and the arteries which arise from it are of three letters icc and ccc right which means common carotid artery right cca sorry it is cca and ica and the another artery which arises from is internal carotid artery ica and they are bilaterally right stapedial and hiatal artery also bilaterally right very important now coming to the fourth arch the fourth arch in the right side and left side different things are derived in the first second and third arch bilaterally same things are derived right same arteries are the derivative structure but in fourth arch right and left are different in the right side proximal portion of right subclavian artery is derived and in the left side very easy and very important aortic arch right aortic arch develops of course aortic arch is only one so if it is only one and it derives from the fourth aortic arch of course which means that in left that aortic arch lies in the left side that means the fourth aortic arch derivative on the right side will be something else it will not be aortic arch of course it is proximal portion of the right subclavian artery right very important it is subclavian artery next fifth aortic arch of course it regress already told you and then in the sixth aortic arch again the right side content is different and the left side aortic arch derivative is different in the right side it gives uh, it arises to right pulmonary artery and in the left side it is left pulmonary artery same as above but with another very important structure ductus arteriosus ductus arteriosus extremely important right very very important the left side sixth aortic arch gives rise to ductus arteriosus how can we remember the right side or the left side of course you have to remember the anatomy of the chest the ductus arteriosus mainly lies or mainly lies on the left side of the chest that's why left side of the aortic arch sixth aortic arch gives rise to ductus arteriosus right very easy now let's see a question from neat pg 2023 which i gave and a question was asked from this particular topic in this manner the left recurrent laryngeal nerve is longer than the right recurrent laryngeal nerve since it winds around a structure which develops from which of the following aortic arches first of all they are talking about a structure which structure the structure which makes left recurrent laryngeal nerve longer than the right which means that the left recurrent laryngeal nerve we all know is longer because it winds around the ductus arteriosus or ligamentum arteriosum after we are born ligamentum arteriosum now the ligamentum arteriosum is a derivative of ductus arteriosus and the ductus arteriosus is actually a derivative of we all know it is a derivative of sixth aortic arch left side so the answer will be sixth aortic arch is the answer now unfortunately many students have marked it fourth i don't know why right the left the recurrent laryngeal nerve doesn't wind around the aortic arch extremely important it winds around the ductus arteriosus right so that's it guys thank you